Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Americana style and I'm going to offer up several choices for you to get some inspiration for this 4th of July. Let's get started. So I don't think anybody would argue with the fact that America's had some rough years lately, but if there's one thing that we can uh, say that America did right, it would be Levi's jeans. They have become a real symbol of the American style. And that's why the very first look that I'm gonna show you here features my favorite pair of rib cage straight leg Levi jeans in a very light wash. Uh, the denim on denim trend has been really popular this year and I have been really loving it. I love the way these jeans look, styled with this mango shirt from, uh, it's a, from a couple years back, but they still actually have it. It's a wonderful denim shirt. I like how it looks paired with a little bit of tan accessories like this crossbody bag and a pair of tan sandals. Now I will be posting links to all of the items that um, I can find and that are still available in the description box below. If I can't find it or if I bought this item a long time ago, I'll try to find something comparable. Now, I probably should have prefaced this video with my attitude towards Americana style. I really do love getting some things for the week of the 4th of July, but I am not the type of woman who likes to buy something that's good for only one day. So all of the choices that I'm showing you here today are actually items that I have and will wear throughout the summer. Um, they're not just confined to 4th of July. So this is Americana style that doesn't go over the top, I hope. And this striped shirt dress, I think is a great example of that. This is available from Target. And I just love this. If you have 4th of July plans for the lake or the beach, I have a white swimsuit that I wear frequently. It's kind of my go-to suit. And I am really looking forward to throwing this over the top of it for a look that is a chic and fun cover-up. Head off to lunch or to dinner after a day on the water and you will look great. So this next outfit is exactly what I mean by not going over the top. I'm wearing this top right here. I've had it for probably six, seven years, and it's still one of my favorite things to wear over the 4th of July. I think I've worn it to three or four 4th of July barbecues, and I just think it's perfect in so many ways. Um, I think when you are planning for Americana style, one tip I would have is to maybe not go red, white, and blue, but go blue and white or red and white or even red and blue, but maybe be careful about mixing those three colors together so you don't look over the top. This outfit is one that I think is clean, fresh, and very tasteful. I love this off-shoulder top paired with a pair of crisp white jeans and some white wedges suitable for a barbecue or if you're going out to dinner maybe trying to check out some fireworks a little later i think it's perfect this top is one i got a long time ago but i'll try to find something comparable for you and post it in the description box below by the way my name is jennifer hanno and if you like the styles that i'm showing you today i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel this next top uh, features a cold shoulder look, which I personally always really love because I'm not completely confident with my, the state of my upper arms. And so I love the way uh, the cold shoulder look uh, looks on me. Um, and I also love the way this top picks up on the embroidery bohemian trend that we're seeing everywhere. This is available through a store called Maurice's. This retailer um, may not be available where you live, but they do have a thriving and vibrant online store that offers a full range of styles and some really fun choices for the 4th of July. I'm wearing a medium in this top and to be honest with you, I think I'm going to take it back for a small. It's very, very roomy, but I love the way it looks with very light denim jeans, pair of sneakers or a pair of sandals. And I think this is a perfect effortless look for the 4th of July that will look great amidst all the fireworks. Another great compliment to these very light denim shorts is a red based floral tank. Now this one does include red, white, and blue. And I know I said I would be cautious with that, but I think the floral print is one that I would definitely wear and have worn many times. I love the way this top looks against the very light denim. It also looks equally as well with dark denim, with white pants, with a denim skirt, and looks terrific with a denim jacket thrown over the top. 
If you own a denim skirt, now is the perfect time to take it out. There's nothing that says 4th of July like a blue denim skirt. And I love it paired here with this other floral tank, this one in more of a navy base color. The skirt is from Can Can. I got it at Maurice's and it is an amazing fit. I love how it's not too short on me. I am 5'4 for reference and typically a size 8 to 10. I'm wearing a size 8 in this skirt and it is as comfortable as any pair of denim shorts that you've ever had. So this is another great look for you for the holiday season. Now, denim shorts uh, this season are definitely being featured in a longer length, which is kind of kind of neat and I kind of like it, but it's kind of difficult for me. I'm only 5'4 and I have fairly short legs, so I can look kind of ridiculous in a longer short if it's not just the right length, which is why I love these shorts from Silver, um, which is a great brand for jeans. Uh, and they are um, just absolutely perfect in many ways. You can roll them up or roll them down to get the, just the right length, and I really like like this color blue. Um, I am wearing them with a tank top from Maurice's in a red and white print. I think it's got a kind of a higher neck and um, I just think that this is a great tank that I'll be wearing all summer. Also looks terrific with white jean shorts or just white shorts. Honestly, one of my favorite things to wear for 4th of July is this red dress. I've had it for many years and I, I really just largely, I associate it with the 4th of July because I've worn it for so many 4th of July occasions. It's a great dress for a barbecue, uh, if you're going out to dinner and then maybe hitting up the fireworks a little bit later. It looks fantastic with a denim jacket over the top of it. Um, I love it with the sneakers, the espadrille sneakers that I'm wearing with it right now, but it looks equally as nice with uh, strappy sandals, with flat sandals. Um, I can't find this exact dress for you, but I've seen a couple that I really like that I'll put in the description box below so that you can maybe get a look like this if that's what you're looking for. This next item is available right now at Maurice's and I really love this two piece set. It features a pair of light kind of crinkly fabric pants and then this really cute halter top that has smocking along the waist. When you wear the two pieces together, it gives you kind of a jumpsuit like look. Really cute, especially with a denim jacket over the top of it. I really kind of, I really love it. Now, usually I don't like things too matchy like this, but I'm going to make an exception for this because it's just so darn adorable. But what's even greater about this look is that you can uh, wear the pants, wear the top many different ways to really kind of um, get a lot more for your money. These pieces will work hard for you, as you can see in the following clips. Here you can see how the top looks, styled with a pair of dark denim jeans. These are from Meritage, a great denim fit. They come up really high on the waist, and I love the slight distressing and uh, you know how the cuffs look with just a little bit of fray. Um, this, this halter top just, I think, looks very elegant, and it can look equally nice with sneakers as it will look with wedges if you want to dress it up a little bit. Or another great option, if you just want to wear the pants and the, not the top, is to just style the pants with a simple white tank. This one is a high neck tank uh, with ribbing on it, and it just creates a really effortless and fun look. Also, if you pop a denim jacket over the top of it, I think it looks really cool and chic, appropriate for a dinner out, restaurant, or a barbecue in the backyard. I think it works equally well for both of those occasions. And finally, I just want to show you this color combination just because it is so unique and I, I just love the way the colors pop. This is not like me. My closet features a lot of beige, but I really do love these two vibrant colors together when we think about summer. The pants are a red based floral and then this coral top on the top of it, this sleeveless polo, really just creates a really interesting and fun contrast. So this is a fun look, whether it's for the 4th of July or after. I love the way these two pieces look together. Okay, so that's it. I hope I got everything in under 10 minutes. That was my goal because I know what busy lives we all lead. So anyway, hopefully you got some inspiration from some of these items. Like I said, I will post links to the item if it's still available or to a comparable item in the description box below. If you don't know how to get to that, just click on the video title, look for the word more, click there and you might have to click one more time on the word more to have the whole box drop down and you will, uh, 
have access to all the links that I'm posting in there. My name is Jennifer Hanno, and I really want to thank you for watching, especially if you stayed with me till the end. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing or considering consider sharing this video with someone else who, who might like it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.